Hello and welcome to this Tarot Advent series. It's the 9th of December and today's card is the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is one who has amazing mental clarity. She is someone that doesn't get lost in the emotions. She likes to be in that intellectual space, especially when she's making decisions. Um, and so she likes to collect all the facts around something so to know where she stands and to know what's going on. She is a straight talker and she is someone who is committed to truth. That's what the sword represents is like the um, it's the sword of truth. But swords are about words, ideas, communication. And so she sometimes she can come across as uh, perhaps she might represent someone or a part of yourself that um can maybe come across as a bit abrupt or harsh but really it's just that she's coming from that intellectual space and she's not sugarcoating things to um connect so much with the on the emotional level that's not what she stands for she's about clarity she has this higher vision as you can see from this little bird when you get birds like this in tarot it's about having like that higher perception um higher view of things and she, she as you see from the clouds here she's her head is above them so she's able to see with clarity and communicate from that place rather than get caught in emotions she is a really quick thinker she's very perceptive and so she does like to get straight to the point and not deal with waffle and um she hates lies she doesn't suffer fools gladly she she just wants the truth and she wants to get there quickly she's also really strong and focused and determined and independent and she's kind of found that way of being because she's got really strong clear boundaries maybe she's learned how to put them in but she communicates them she communicates them through her words through her actions but also through her energy and so people tend to respect her and not cross those boundaries but she will let them know if they have crossed them uh, and so they tend not to do it again so that's kind of a little bit of a taste of her so Although she can be a bit stern, she's actually like this, These cher there's a cherub here carved into the stone and this butterfly, which is a, the symbol of transformation. So it suggests that she might represent someone who might be a bit hard on the outside, but she's soft on the inside. So once you get to know her, that's when you can uh, connect more to her heart. So if she has a message for you today, she might be inviting you to set some clear, healthy boundaries with the people in your life. Maybe you need to make a decision about something. So make sure that you've got all the facts so that you can make a really well-informed choice and don't just rely on your feelings. Perhaps there's some clear truth speaking that you need to do. You know, get straight to the point, cut the waffle so there's no cause for any misunderstanding and your message isn't being diluted if you really want to be heard. And if you're worried about this, then tune into the energy of the Queen of Swords and imagine drawing her qualities into you. We all embody the different qualities expressed in the tarot and they exist as these archetypal energies that can really support us in so many situations when we need extra inner resources. She might actually represent someone else in your life that you're perceiving as cold and uncaring and maybe her advice to you might be not to jump to conclusions Maybe this person is actually open and receptive, but if they have quite an intellectual nature, then maybe they need you to communicate in a more direct manner for them to be able to hear you and to really take on your opinions and perspectives. They might not be just closing you out. So if there's a message in this card for you today, do let me know in the comments and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.